So I think the time has come when I, I have a new set of casters for the piano. So I'm going to pull it out of this spot into the area of the garage, the center of the garage, and I'm actually going to try to use my homemade piano tilter. I've got the piano tilter behind the piano right now. But I'll pull it out and actually try to lay it on its side so that I can lay it on its back on the tilter so I can put the new casters on. So we'll get set up and that's what we're going to start working on. You ready for this? Can you see me? I can't see you. Then that's good. Alright, please be careful. Really feels good so far. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm going to try to get in here and take this caster off. I've got a screwdriver. I can get in here in this hole. Part of the issue with this piano is it's okay. this whole section is loose. So this flathead screwdriver in here, the screw itself is pretty loose. Sorry, pretty tight, and I don't want to strip it out, so I'm going to try this method here. I've got a wrench, so I can keep pressure inward and turn the screw that way. Let's see if I can do this. Try to avoid stripping this out if I can. It's working.
done some of damage to this. But I think I'm gonna get it out. bad. I did buy new screws for this because I didn't know what kind of condition I'd have on these old ones so I can replace it with a new set of screws but glad to get that out without stripping it. This one's a little bit better. One thing you guys don't see on camera you can't get the effect of is the smell and I don't know what it is but I'm getting a funky smell from the bottom of this piano. Now granted I know there was if you saw my earlier videos you saw the mice issues I had to deal with in the keybed area and so I'm sure there's mouse remnants and stuff in the bottom here too and it might just be disturbing as I do this but we'll see. This one's pretty tight also. There we go, I'm making some progress now. This screw actually broke off in the hole. There we go. Yeah, so there's that. The screw was in this hole and it broke. It felt uh, pretty tight to, to come out and then all of a sudden it just, uh, there was almost no resistance and it didn't like to screw out so that's uh, that's what was going on. I think that guy will get to live there. Let's take a look and see what we've got. This is a pretty nice looking pocket. Try not to blind the camera here. So as you can see, that hole is pretty nice looking. If I put this down here, let's go, uh, we'll go freehand with this. So you can see, I bought some of those extra ferrules to fill these pockets if need be, but this uh, looks pretty good. I'll see how tight of a, or how close of a fit that is. I don't think I'm gonna have to drill that out. I think I probably can just punch that new wood uh, center sec section in there and go from there. So as part of the new caster set, uh, the pieces I ordered, I've got uh, I got some of these wood center ferrules. So these go in here to fill that gap um, because the new casters, which I've got one right here. The uh, post for that, if I put it in here, it's got a lot of room to move. And you can see that this whole size is much smaller than that hole that's in there right now. So if I go and punch one of these in, 
Then I put this in, that is the right size hole to give that the proper support so I don't end up with uh, more problems there. So if this is, uh, I can knock one of these into each one of these and then I can put this new insert in. Uh, this has four holes instead of the three so I can uh, potentially align with, well the existing hole pattern doesn't look like it quite lines up so I can just rotate it to get a clean hole pattern drill those holes and then I can drill new holes and then I can install it in there. Just find a spot really here to, to do that. And then the new caster that I have, I've got these uh, nice uh, double wheel, rubber wheel casters, swivel, um, and these are rated for 200 pounds each so I should have no problems with this uh, piano breaking these casters and um, it should roll nice and well. These are these are Darnell casters. If you look in the Shaft Piano catalog, let's say our item number looks like 2592. We have a slightly higher end set that I think actually has some ball bearings in these in the caster wheels. Uh, I didn't go with that set, um, but that is an option as well. Um, they also a lot of the, these that you'll see on. Uh, you know, on Amazon or other places for sale are the slightly lighter duty weight rated ones that only go to 160 pounds. So these are the full 200 pound weighted range um, casters. That's what I went with for this big upright. <clears throat> and I think the last element I got, I did get um, a stack of cardboard shims. So that's what these are. Um, these cardboard shims are there if I needed to uh, build out the surface at all. I've got a stack of these that I can use. Um, I don't know if I'll need to use it because these aren't, aren't overly recessed. I think the main thing you want to worry about is if this is all the way in, does it still have room to go around? Um, and when you figure that it's got... This is, this is just barely rubbing and I don't have this piece in yet which gives me probably another eighth inch or quarter inch of height. So I think I think I should be good without the need for those, but maybe maybe I'll put one cardboard spacer in each just to give myself a little bit of extra clearance. Um, down here might be where I run into issues. I'll have to see. But I got my I got stuff ahead of time, so I'm prepared. Got a dead blow mallet, and I'm gonna tap this guy in. This stuff out of the way. That's now it's almost a little bit too big. Pilot holes. There we go. 
<clears throat> okay, so I've got that hammered in now. It seemed to go a lot better with the better fitting hammer. Um, so I've got the four holes, and what I did is I took one of these cardboard spacers, if I'm going to use it, and I put it on here to get it lined up. These spacers come just round, um, but I, I put little nicks where each of these holes go uh, so that as I screw it in, I can, I can get this lined up and tap it down and make sure everything stays lined up as I uh, put that in. I could probably just screw right through the cardboard, but at least this lets me see where my holes are. So as I drive this in, I can keep everything aligned. See if that's actually beneficial or not. It might be, it might not be. I'm just worried about things getting turned. Uh, I can start a bolt or start a screw in there. It looks like. So that's what I do. I've got I've got number ten screws, about an inch and a half. And they're the same length, and it looks like they're the same thread size as what was in there before. Uh, at least as best as I can tell. So. We will drive those in and we'll go from there. You have a socket, impact socket. I could fit that over that and hammer that. Don't really want to pull it down with those. Screw gives me a problem. I'll either pull it out, swap it out. I got about a quarter inch to go, so let's just keep going. There we go. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this goes in now. How are you supposed to do these? There we go. That swivels all the way around. Well, it's not a fun job, but it's not terrible. It'd be a lot easier if this thing wasn't rocking all over the place. This, as far as like refinishing goes, will make part of my life easier. But I don't need that uh, being loose right now. So I think uh, that's good for just one of these. We'll do the other three. Uh, I'll probably save that for tomorrow morning because it's getting kind of late tonight. But we'll come back and get the rest done. And then we can go from there. Okay, I think I lied. One last thing I am going to do before I go any further, before I call it quits for the night, is I'm going to pull off these old hardware store things. Let me swap back on my bit here. Okay, so I'm going to move on and do that next one down at the bottom. Should be able to repeat this process that I used for the top one.
Okay, so this is the last leg. It's the left front leg of the piano, and this is the one I'm a little bit concerned about because as I look, this screw is okay. It's got both sides are fine, but I notice on this screw and the top screw, both of those are missing half of that screw. There's very little material to bite into, so I don't know what I'm going to end up finding as I try to take these out. I'm worried I might have to drill these off or cut these off or something. So this one should be a little bit of an adventure. But we'll we'll go from <laughs> we'll obviously have to get that out, so we'll we'll do what we need to do to get it done. But that's a quick view of what I'm up against right now. I'll reposition the camera here and I'll I'll get started working on that one. Okay, let's give this a try. Look at that. You can see a lot of dust of stuff that fell out from the piano when I had it tilted back. Really need to clean that up next. That works. Thank <laughs> you. 